Have you ever wondered what would happen if you threw water in space? Would it float? Would it freeze? Or maybe it would boil away? Water is such a common thing here on Earth, but out in space, its behavior can become mind-boggling. Today, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating science of what happens when water is exposed to the extreme conditions of outer space. To understand what happens to water in space, we first need to understand the environment we're dealing with. Space is a vacuum. That means there's no air, no atmosphere, and essentially no pressure. The temperature ranges are extreme too, swinging from blistering heat when you're exposed to the sun to bone-chilling cold when you're in the shade. And on top of that, space has microgravity. Microgravity is where the force of gravity is so weak that everything floats. It's the same condition that astronauts experience when they're aboard the International Space Station. First reaction, surface tension. Now, let's imagine you're inside the International Space Station and you release some water. What happens? Instead of falling to the ground like it would on Earth, the water forms a perfect sphere. This is because of surface tension of force that pulls water molecules together, creating the smallest possible surface area. On Earth, gravity overpowers surface tension, so water flows downwards. But in the microgravity of space, without the pull of gravity, the water clumps into a ball. Water behaves almost like a liquid marble, floating and moving around in space, held together by its own molecules. What happens in space? What if you throw water into the vacuum of space, outside the safety of a spaceship? Well, that's where things get really interesting. In space, there's virtually no pressure, an environment that's the opposite of what we have on Earth. And without pressure, water does something really strange. It boils. You see, here on Earth, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, because that's when the pressure of water vapor equals the pressure of the atmosphere. But in space, where there's almost no pressure, water can start boiling even at room temperature. As soon as you throw water into space, the lack of pressure causes it to instantly evaporate or boil off. It doesn't even get a chance to flow or float like it does inside the space station. But here's the twist. Space is also extremely cold. In the shadow of planets or spacecraft, where the temperature can drop to hundreds of degrees below freezing, water that doesn't immediately evaporate might undergo another strange transformation, flash freezing. In some cases, the water might freeze into solid ice before it has a chance to boil away. The extreme cold can cause the water molecules to lock into place, turning into ice in the blink of an eye. So, what would really happen if you threw water into space? The result is a mix of boiling and freezing, depending on the conditions. Some of the water will immediately turn into vapor, while the rest may freeze into ice. It's a tug of war between low pressure and extreme cold, making water in space behave unlike anything we're used to here on Earth. How water behaves in microgravity. Back in the space station, things are different. The microgravity inside allows water to behave more predictably. Astronauts often conduct fun experiments with water, forming floating blobs that they can push around, divide, and even drink using special straws. Because there's atmospheric pressure inside the station, the water doesn't boil away. Instead, it stays in its liquid form and floats due to the microgravity, creating mesmerizing visuals of liquid behaving like a living, floating organism. The science behind it, molecular behavior. Now the question arises, why does water behave this way in space? The answer lies in the nature of water molecules. Water is a polar molecule, meaning it has a positive end and a negative end. This polarity makes water molecules stick to each other, and in the absence of gravity, the sticking together becomes the dominant force surface tension. Without the pressure and gravity we're used to, water's natural tendency to bond together takes over, creating those beautiful floating spheres. Practical uses of water in space. This is to note that understanding how water behaves in space isn't just an academic exercise. Water will play a critical role in future space missions, from drinking water for astronauts to using water as a resource for fuel. Through a process called electrolysis, water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, providing fuel for rockets or breathable air for astronauts. Water isn't just important for sustaining life in space, it could be the key to deep space exploration. What about other liquids? You know, when it comes to space, it's not just water. Other liquids like alcohol or oil behave similarly in space, but with slight differences depending on their chemical properties. In general, most liquids will either boil or freeze, depending on the conditions they face. The search for water in space, why it matters. As we explore other planets and moons in our solar system, one of the most important questions scientists ask is, 
is there water? Because where there's water, there could be life. That's why missions to Mars, Europa, and other celestial bodies focus on searching for signs of liquid water or ice beneath the surface. Finding water on these planets or moons could increase the chances of discovering life, even if it's in a microbial form. That's why missions like NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars or the upcoming Europa Clipper mission are designed to explore these regions and search for signs of water. If we can confirm that water exists, and more importantly, that it existed in liquid form in the past, it could mean that life once thrived or could still exist in these alien environments. But water's importance doesn't stop at the search for life. It plays a critical role in the future of space exploration and even interstellar travel. For astronauts, water is essential for survival. It's needed for drinking, growing food, and providing oxygen. But there's more. Through electrolysis, water can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen can be used as rocket fuel, and oxygen is obviously needed for astronauts to breathe. This means that in future space missions, we could use water as a sustainable resource, turning it into fuel and air for long-term space travel. Imagine a future where spacecraft have the ability to refuel by finding and processing water from asteroids, moons, or distant planets. This could drastically reduce the need to carry heavy fuel from Earth, making interstellar travel more feasible. Water becomes not just a resource for sustaining life, but a key ingredient for propelling us to new worlds. If humanity is ever to colonize other planets, water will be a fundamental part of the equation. It will be our lifeline and the foundation of our future in space exploration. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating science and space exploration content.